All right, so this is a quick video on how you can wire your RunCan Thumb Pro to the flight controller and then wire it to a UART channel and then use your radio controller to actually start and stop the video recording. That's just what I went through and now it's a success. So I've got a Pavo 25, right? It's a nice lightweight quad. I don't want to have to plug this camera in and out every single time with like a, a five volt conditioner. So this is what we're gonna do. So you gotta wire everything up. You gotta find a UART channel that's for that's free and available. So I'm using UART number four for this one, okay? And like usual for most things, the RX goes to TX and then the TX goes to RX and they're gonna switch back and forth and then the ground and uh, power are the same. So super simple. So you plug it in and you're gonna come over into beta flight, right? You're gonna go up into your ports tabs. Okay, so mine was on UART4. You're not gonna touch anything except for over here where it says peripherals. Yeah, and there's a bunch of different options that you can choose, this one being the run cam protocol, right? Then you'll save it and you'll reboot it and just make sure that it's still there when you come back. Then you're gonna come back down into modes and you'll probably wanna plug in uh, a battery so that the uh, controller's working. And you'll flow down here and you're going to have some options here for camera, different things, Wi-Fi, power button, and change mode. So the power button is what you're going to want, and you're going to wire it to whatever switch it is that you want to, to trigger it, okay? Now the change mode, you could also have that on a different switch. So um, so like normally you have to do two taps on the power button if you want to scan, uh, scan a QR code. So you could actually wire that to a switch as well, so you don't have to mess with it. And then you're going to save this, okay? So now... We're ready. Let me just plug this in here for a sec. Bear with me. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> so plug it in. Okay. And so you. Telemetry recovered. Okay. So you can see that the camera is powered on. Okay. So I have it wired in here onto this switch right here. All right. So you're going to see as I go up. And it's blinking and it's starting to record him. Now here's the catch. Okay, you might think that after you enabled recording, if you just turn it off, it'll actually stop recording, which isn't the case. So you need to come back to re-trigger it to turn it off one more time. And there you go. Okay, so the, the switch is not a toggle directly for the camera itself where it's on and it's off, right? It's not. It's actually going to just a single press so you'll have to come back and hit it a couple times. But if you're wondering, that's how you have to do. It's real quick and easy. And um, and then all you have to do is scan in your QR code. You can wire it up to whatever switch. So hopefully that helps. Um, if it does, don't forget to like, comment, and follow, and all that other great stuff from the Life of Acro Creator Studio. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in another video.